All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for being on the call. It is Monday, December 6th, 9.02 a.m., and another day in paradise here. Uh, it is one of the last days of AEP 2022, and tomorrow is the deadline, December 7th. Um, and so we want to wrap up um, this selling season and just a couple of things to go over this morning. But before we do that, what's our mission? It is to improve the lives of our community with affordable health care. Thank you very much for being part of that mission. And thank you for doing all the hard work that you do and the information that you learn here so you can share with your clients. Uh, just as a reminder, throughout the rest of the year, we are recording these calls. And as we go through the holiday, it might get a little dicey. So um, I will send out as much heads up as possible if we do cancel a call. And I will do my very best to ensure that uh, I'm sending out videos and information to ensure that you're getting what you need as we go into OEP. Um, and before that, we're going to talk about the mini lock-in season that we're about to have from December 8th until December 31st, because you can still help people out. And, uh, and, and the season doesn't stop because there is quite a bit of business to write and to help people out there too. So uh, with that, let's talk about the end of 2021, all right? So with that, um, 2021 has come to an end and just some housekeeping. I did send out an email and a text to everybody, but I do want to make sure that I cover it here on this call as well. Uh, number one, let's make sure that we have gotten rid of all of the 2021 sales materials and marketing materials. Okay, that includes brochures, flyers, if there's anything like business cards that have 2021 information on it. Uh, some of you have those things out there. Please make sure that you get rid of 2021 and we are only showing 2022 materials. Go through your garage, your home office, your car. Make sure that you do not accidentally grab a 2021 kit or accidentally uh, commit to 2021 benefits when you're talking to somebody. I have seen it happen. I have seen 2021 applications start to come in for 2022 apps. So please don't make that mistake. Please do your housekeeping and ensure that you get rid of all those materials. Again, a nice dumpster dive or if you want to do a bonfire, get rid of all that paper. We get it. Okay. Uh, at the office, we have disposed of all the 2021 materials, so obviously you're not going to come in and ask for that stuff. So 2022 is here, and uh, and then also when it comes to uh, the benefits in HPM Shop, which we're going to go through in just a moment, your 2021 profile is no longer active. It's still there, and I also want to reiterate that all the information that you did in 2021 will automatically transfer over into 2022 HPM shop. So you didn't lose any client data, nothing's lost there. You're just now using 2022 to get over all your information. Even if you did applications in 2021, it'll show up in 2022. So moving forward, everything is 2022. Um, and just please make sure you do your, your housekeeping and, and don't grab the wrong kit. Let's get rid of all that stuff. There is two days left of open enrollment, including today. And tomorrow at midnight concludes AEP 2022. Um, but we still have business to write. So December 8th through December 31st is a lock-in period um, until we reach OEP in January. So uh, here's a couple of tips here. Number one, in the last two days here, if it's slowed down for you for AEP, go back check your applications and we're going to talk about your scopes because there there has been a couple of issues in HPM shop with folks just not syncing the the scopes and we've talked about it on this call before but I want to ensure that everybody's going back and get what getting what they need so uh, when it comes to your your scope of appointments um, we're finding that there's more applications than there are scope of appointments in HPM shop and that could be for several very good reasons. Maybe you took a paper app or maybe you did a telephonic app uh, or a tele telephonic scope um, and a paper scope of appointment and then you did an electronic app and that's okay to do. We just need to track those and ensure that you can match a scope of appointment for each and every one of your applications. Okay, So 
that's a great thing to do in these last two days is ensure that you have both the scope for each of your applications and all your apps are matching up and you've got everything that you need in order to ensure that all of your applications are processed for January 1st effective, okay? Um, take some time, here's another tip here, take some time between today and tomorrow and ensure that all of your applications have been received and processed, okay? I know some of you are working up until the last minute here and that might not be possible because you're still helping people find a plan and get them enrolled. Um, but I do recommend taking some extra time tonight and just making sure that you've gotten that done. Um, even if it takes a little bit of elbow grease just to get through these last two days. Because remember, uh, after tomorrow at midnight, you cannot submit a uh, an application using AEP for January 1st effective, okay? That's tomorrow at midnight, it ends. So um, we, you, you will need to have uh, a special election period, which we're gonna talk about um, in just a minute here. So just please make sure you match up all of your applications, all of your scopes, check with the carriers and make sure everything's been processed. If there are any issues, please reach out to us. We're happy to help in any way we can. Uh, and a lot of the times the carriers will only talk to you because you are the agent of record. So there's a lot, there's, there's very limited information that we can um, connect and, and do for you on your behalf, or, but we're, we're happy to jump in and help you as much as we can. Okay. Now, with your um, scope of appointments and, and moving into, um, sorry, with lock-in here, um, what can you do? So at December December 8th, which is on Wednesday, somebody calls you and says, hey, you just enrolled my mom and I wanna enroll, I have Medicare. Um, what can you do for Medicare? Um, you have five-star plans. You know, many of you are in areas that have a five-star plan. So you simply choose five-star. Um, so know which five-star plans are out there. Um, in California, there's HealthNet, so we know we have that one. Uh, in Florida, we have five five-star plans, uh, and I'll list them here again, just in case you, that, that you missed one. Uh, we have Care Plus, we have Cigna, we have BayCare, which is in the Tampa market. Uh, we have HealthSun, which is in the South, South, uh, South Florida market. And then we have Optimum, uh, many of you are familiar with Optimum. They got five stars years ago, and now they have five stars again. So Optimum is five stars. So you have five five-star plans. So that's where we where we really want to want to start. Make sure that you have some or most of those five-star plans because when you're when you bump into somebody that says, "Hey, I really need to get set up for January 1st, You want to make sure that you have uh, a five-star plan available. Um, you know, do research if if you know you, you see a five star plan out there and you don't have it in your por portfolio. Let us know. Reach out to somebody at HPM, and we are glad to connect you and get get you contracted with one of those five star plans so we can keep you rolling for 2022. Okay, uh, Medicare and Medicaid. Okay, helping people apply for extra help was one of the most successful strategies that I had as an agent. Is going out there and helping people apply for LIS helping them apply for Medicaid. And that really made a big difference for the community because I was able to help people get benefits that they normally couldn't uh, get. And, and then also, you know, it opens up a special enrollment period. So please make sure that, you know, you know how to do that if that's something that you're interested in doing as far as the strategy is concerned. So helping people apply for LIS, helping pe people apply for Medicaid opens up a special election period, and you can then enroll them in a Medicaid, um, a dual eligible Medicare Medicaid plan, okay? So a uh, great strategy, it worked really well for me uh, in the past, and I could tell you that um, I see a lot of folks that know, if they know how to do that, um, it's a great tool and asset to do. Uh, one tool that I've mentioned here in the past, if you are interested in using that strategy, would be the, um, the benefitcheckup.org, and I will email everybody out that link as well, and I'll go through it very quickly if I have time today, but benefitscheckup.org, you go out to that website, and it has all the different programs out there that you can help somebody apply for, and that goes from Medicaid, LIS, to housing, to groceries, uh, education, you know, VA benefits, things like that that you can help people uh, you know, because I'm sure you're running into clients that are asking you these questions and becoming a resource is a great way to generate referrals. So 
Keep that in mind if you're wanting to keep busy year round, it's a great strategy to do so. So those are the, the, the top uh, ways that you should be focusing in this mini little lock-in period here. And then of course, there's a, a, a ton of different uh, other situations out there. You know, a person loses Medicaid, a person moves, a person turns 65. There's tons of, of different uh, ways or, or strategies that you can find to help people uh, find a health plan between December 8th and December 31. But you've got to know your special election periods. you got to know those things because that's the name of the game. Find that SCP. When you find that SCP, you can help that person get enrolled. So this will help you stay busy from December 8th through December 31. And the easy ticket out is a five-star plan. Anyone can enroll and choose. Now, one note on the five-star plan is that if you use the five-star plan for 2022, that is your one and done situation. You cannot choose another five-star plan in 2022. So if you choose one, if you use a five-star plan, let's say on Friday, they can't call you on, in June and say, hey, I wanna change to another five-star plan. Can't do it. You've already enrolled in a five-star plan using the five-star designation and you cannot use it again. Now, some of you enrolled folks using AEP, uh, let's say for Care Plus, used uh, AEP as your enrollment period election for care plus no problem you still have the five star designation out there that you can use it's all about using the sep five star so you can only use the sep five star one time so use that um, but if they can wait until january remember we have oep from january 1st to march 31st and at that time they can make a change to their plan um, unfortunately those folks those folks that have only original medicare are stuck where they're at uh, they cannot make a change into a Medicare Advantage plan using OEP from January 1st to March 31st. They can use a different SEP. They can use Five Star or Medicare Medicaid. They can do that, but they cannot use the uh, the you know the OEP designation. Um, and again, we'll talk more about that as we get closer to OEP. And I plan on having a video training as well that'll get out to everybody, so you guys will have that. Okay, so moving on, let's talk about HPM Shop. And this morning, I'm going to share my screen here. So on HPM Shop, I am logged in to the, the main website. And I want to talk to, to you guys about um, some of the situations that uh, I've been learning about. Uh, the main thing is, is, hey, Justin, I went in there and I checked the doctor and it said that the doctor was not a network. But then I went and I checked it. On the, on the carrier's website and it showed that the doctor is in network. What's going on with the provider directories on HPM shop, okay? So I believe I may have talked about this before, but I'm gonna share best practices with you and this will eliminate a lot of issues between you, your enrollments and your clients, okay? So, at the very beginning, I know a lot of you are very anxious to go out and jump right into the plans. But again, the best thing you can do for your clients is start a new profile and go through the preferences, okay? And during the preferences, and I'm showing you in the screen, once you set up that profile with them, you'll have the ability to set up preferences for that person, and that includes their, their doctors. Now, we know that not all the provider directories are loaded in HPM shop on an ongoing basis, okay? So when you go to add your preferences, the first thing that you have to know is you're adding those doctors for you because this information is, is stored forever and ever. So when, when AEP comes around um, next year here, coming up you know, in nine months or so, then you're going to know all the doctors that they go to. You're not going to have to ask again. You're not going to have to search. Now, with the provider directories, there we have a multitude of carriers on here. Now, some carriers update their provider directory on a daily basis. Some of them update it on a weekly basis, some monthly, some even longer than that. So are the provider directories accurate? 100% on HPM shop? No, they are not. And they never will be because the uh, carriers are slow to give that information to the softwares, uh, the software engineers. So best practice here, 
okay? You're going to list your doctors in the, in the preferences, keep it there because you're going to need it anyway. And then once you have all those providers listed in your, in your um, portal here, in your HPM shop, and you find the plan that you think is going to be best for that member based on maybe some other factors, such as their prescriptions, the pharmacy, or they're looking for something else, and it pops up a plan, even though it says five out of five doctors in network, I would highly guarantee that you bounce out to that, that carrier and double check the providers, okay? And, and this is going forward, and I have talked about this in the past, but I just wanna reiterate it as we move into the new year, double check your providers because like I said before, sometimes the carriers don't give us the most accurate information and it doesn't uh, come down into the software until days, weeks, or even months later. So make sure that you're double checking your work and double checking your providers. I really don't see this being an issue with formulary because formularies usually don't change throughout the year. Uh, so once it's loaded from CMS, they load it up into the software and that's pretty much it. There might be one or two changes throughout the year per formulary, but it's not like the provider directories. Um, providers join and leave networks all the time, all the time. And if you can think about how many providers are out there, primary care specialists, and then you times that by each and every carrier out there, it's just immense. So. Just because a doctor is in network today doesn't mean that doctor is in network tomorrow. Um, so just double check your work at the provider site. Now remember, every carrier has their own provider directory and their provider directory site. So it is really important that you know how to get there. Um, usually right on their main website, it says, you know, find a plan or find a doctor uh, and you can do it from there. So if you don't have a list of those, please let us know and we're glad to connect you there. So check those provider directories, be adamant about making sure that the providers are in network. Even if it says, hey, three out of three doctors are in network and it shows on HPM shop. Okay, fantastic. Let me double check this and then go out to the provider website. Now I have seen issues with this in the past. Um, and even on carrier websites, there's errors in, in their own website. Uh, it might not show a provider that actually is in network. So it's just one of those things that's always going to have errors in it, like Swiss cheese. So just make sure that you're just doing your due diligence and and tracking it and ensuring that you've you're you're keeping track of of what you've said to your members and that you've tracked tracked the doctors. Okay, so that's my word of advice on that. Uh, again, you know the formulary. I don't see that being an issue. Um, so you know that's that's one of the things that uh, I wanted to bring up today because it seems to be a common issue uh, moving into the new year. So uh, please use HPM Shop if you haven't already. Uh, it's an incredible software system and it's getting better and better and better every day. I really love to see everybody using it because it has done an, a great job in making sure that you guys have had a successful uh, AEP this year. Uh, all right, let's shift quickly over to uh, ACA business. So as you know, uh, it is also open enrollment for individual and family plans. So those of you that are doing Affordable Care Act plans or not, if you're doing just regular off exchange plans, that's fine. We have contracts with all of the major carriers, uh, including Oscar Health. Uh, Oscar Health is one of the fastest growing uh, insurance carriers in the country. And, but unfortunately, news has come down that they will no longer participate in Health Sherpa. So Health Sherpa is our enrollment site that we've used to do our ACA enrollments, our individual and family plan enrollments. And on my on your screen there that I'm sharing, this is uh, an example. This is uh, my ACA site or my enrollment site for Health Sherpa, and this is client facing. So you can see you know, they can run their own quote and then it gives information when they scroll down about how this is all working. Um, and it's just a lead gen opportunity here that seems to work pretty well. Um, so if you don't have Health Sherpa, I do highly recommend it. It's one of the best enrollment software systems that I've found out there. Uh, but unfortunately, Oscar is not gonna be participating on that. So what does that mean? Uh, if you've, you'll see it there, you just won't be able to enroll the person in Oscar, you'll be bounced out to your Oscar portal. 
Um, and Oscar does have an enrollment platform in their own portal system. So you'll be able to, to log into your Oscar portal and run a quote and do the enrollment in your Oscar uh, portal. So you won't be able to do it on Health Sherpa um, coming up here very shortly. Um, I believe it might have already started uh, here in December. So um, you'll receive an email if you're writing Oscar already, you'll, you'll receive an email. But I would highly recommend just go ahead, start right now and learn how to get into um, Oscar and get into your portal and get into uh, the enrollment side so you know how to run it, okay? Now, on ACA, um, just a reminder, we did uh, mention it before, but we have some new carriers that have come into the markets. Uh, United Healthcare is back in the game for ACA, so if you're interested in offering United Healthcare individual and family plans, uh, let us know here at HPM and we'll get you connected. Uh, just keep in mind, uh, United Healthcare individual and family plans is a separate contract from Medicare. So just because you have Medicare does not automatically give you United individual and family plans. They are separate entities all the way through. So you have to do a, a separate contract, separate everything, okay? Um, so so if you if you wanna add that, and same thing with the, uh, Aetna. Aetna is a newcomer uh, for ACA as well. So if you wanna add Aetna, individual and family plans, it is a separate contract and um, you can go ahead and add that. Now, the good news with ACA, just to remind everybody here, if you've kind of been hesitant because, hey, there's a lot of carriers and I don't wanna do all these trainings every year. On ACA, there is no annual trainings, just your FFM training, your federal facilitated market marketplace training um, uh, or your ACA training. So you just do one training and it covers all of your ACA contracts. But you do have to do that initial contract with each and every carrier, but you do not have to recontract every year and you do not have to uh, recertify every year for ACA products. So that one is a little bit easier to do. So you can add umpteen carriers to your ACA portfolio. It doesn't matter. Um, you just have to do one training and that'll cover all of them uh, for next year. So it makes it a little bit easier for you to do what you do. Now, each carrier does have their own training sites. So if you want to learn more about, you know, Molina Healthcare or Ambetter, they will be pushing out training sessions and they'll live on our calendar. And uh, you guys can definitely jump on, on the calendar and we'll go through that. Okay. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind if you want to learn more about ACA. Uh, but yes, United Healthcare and Aetna newcomers are now available. Just reach out to us and we'll be glad to send you over the contract to get that going. Okay. Now, uh, to close out the call, we've got about five minutes left and I'll let you guys go. I do want to talk very quickly about selling strategy. Uh, because I have I have been talking with a few agents that are, you know, finding themselves in these situations where they're not closing sales or you're getting this. Let's let me think about it. Or um, you know, you're getting a, a a person that you know is kind of backing out after you've done all this hard work. So selling strategy um, that I've always found successful. Uh, and this works really well with HPM shop, and I'll go through that in a minute here, um, is it's not, do you want this, yes or no, it's which one, okay? So let me explain, it's not yes or no, it's which one, okay? So if you send somebody, let's just use cars as an, ex as an example, okay? You go and you're in the market for a car, and you talk to the dealer or the salesperson, and they, you know, they show you a bunch of cars, and they think they know which car is going to be best for you. So they pull it up around and it's, you know, the car and maybe, maybe it is, maybe it's not right. And when that salesperson says, do you want this car? You're kind of been painted into a corner. If I say yes, then I have to take it no matter what. And I haven't seen any other cars. Or if I say no, I might walk away and now I've got to start the whole process again. Right. Um, or I'm just going to stay with what I have and I'll ride the bus. Right. Um, so that yes or no situation kind of paints your clients into a corner, okay? Now, if you do which one, let's say same example, you go car shopping and you tell the dealer, you know, what you're looking for, and maybe he pulls around uh, two cars or even three cars that is based on your preferences that you have told him. 
Now it's not yes or no. Now it's which one of these three cars. That salesperson has a much greater chance of closing that sale with one or one of those cars. Okay. So it's always that yes, no situation. It's not yes, no situation. It's which one. So give your client uh, the, the ability to, to choose what they want. Okay. And remember with HBM shop, that's, that's one of the only legal ways that you can compare the plans. The only other way is using CMS's website. You cannot do a side-by-side -side comparison using the books. You've got to use one of these enrollment sites. So when you're comparing plans, and I'm going to show you on my screen here, just as a quick example here, I'm skipping over the preferences, which you, you should never do, right? <laughs> um, on the top right corner of each enrollment box, you'll see add to compare, add to compare. And so I'm just using two as an example, but you click the compare now button, and this is using Medicare, and you can also do this on, on Health Sherpa as well. It gives them that side-by-side -side comparison that you see on the screen here. And this is not a yes, no situation anymore. This is a which one, okay? You are way more likely to close sales when you give your clients a choice. When you give your client, when you empower your clients to make that choice and you allow them to, to drive the, the, the ship. Now you're still the captain here, right? You've brought them the, um, you know, the options for them to, to choose an enrollment. Um, but now it's not a yes, no, because when people say, well, let's say you just showed them Humana, for instance, now they're, they're kind of feeling pressured, you know, why does this guy want me on Humana? Is there something going on here? You know, is this the right choice for me? But when you give them a choice, when you give them two, uh, two different options, uh, it's much more likely that you're going to close the sale and much more likely that your client will be happy and have less buyer's remorse which means less rapid disenrollment for you, which means you get to keep your commissions longer, right? So just a selling strategy I, I wanted to share with everybody. And this is one of the, the main reasons we, we chose uh, to build out HPM Shop 2022 is because of this comparison guide. And you can send this off to your client by email and text. And at their leisure, they can go through it. And then they call you and say, hey, I want that Humana plan because I looked at the other one you sent me and it, you know, it didn't make sense for me and I felt this was a better choice. Now they feel empowered. Now they feel like they've made the right choice and it solidifies that sale for both you and the client in their mind and they are good to go, okay? So just a little selling strategy that I hope uh, you take to the bank and, and that, that works for you. Um, and that's pretty much it for the call this morning. Um, I do see that there is a question here on the chat. Um, this is uh, Kelly. How do we track? Um, not sure what you what you mean there, Kelly. If you if you're listening, go ahead and and chat back there on on uh, what you mean by how do we track. Um, if you're if you're mentioning on your on your enrollments, I do know that there is a on your dashboard. You can go back seven days on your enrollments. Uh, so you can go ahead and run a report. So uh, from the dashboard there, uh, let me pull that back up here for you. So on your dashboard, you'll see reports. So when you click reports, right from your dashboard, you should be able to pull up all of your enrollments. But if you do need help with that, if you need to go back more than seven days, which is the case for most people, um, I know Jonathan is uh, running reports for everybody. So if you do need to run a report that is your entire AEP, just let us know. Shoot us an email. Uh, you can shoot an email to jmanati at askhpm.com, which I'm putting in the chat as well. And uh, he can go ahead and track that for you uh, on, on any applications that, that you want to check on. But I do recommend checking in with each and every carrier. Uh, we do have a 100% deliverability for all applications so far this AEP uh, to the carrier using HPM Shop. So I'm very, very happy for that. Uh, however, the carriers don't always let us know if there's an issue. So if there's an issue with the application, they normally reach out to the client. Some carriers reach out to the agent, not always the case. Um, and I do know some of you are checking your portals for the applications, fantastic, glad that you're doing that. So checking with each carrier portal, you can do that. Or you can call broker support uh, at each one of the carriers, and they'll be able to check uh, your applications to ensure that everything's there. Um, but again, you know, 
uh, we can run a report for you. We can we can track your application. So just shoot us an email. Uh, John Minotti can do that for you. Just give him a, a day or two and he can pull it all out for you and you can double check. Okay. So uh, with that, we're at the end of our call. I do thank everyone for being on the call today and we'll continue this uh, roller coaster here until the end of the year. Um, congratulations on making it through AEP. Tomorrow's the last day. Don't forget to close up the month. And if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us. You guys know how to reach us. Have a fantastic week and good luck.